got a place to stay, about to sleep on the couch. We even off each other, trade the dollar men you amount. So in this video, we'll be discussing aesthetics as well as game modes from live events, court battles, franchise mode, hopefully, and All-Star Weekend. I miss loading up into a court or loading up into an NBA arena with my favorite character or a character from my favorite team. I wish we could revamp, you know, and re-innovate that where we could load up into a custom hangar or a custom court of our choice or even an NBA arena from our favorite team and just start hooping from there. I just feel it would be pretty dope to load up into a hangar, a custom hangar, or even our favorite team's arena and go into the menu from there or just go into character creation from there rather than the long, laggy menu that we have. I'd rather just be in a custom hangar or, you know, just shooting around and have the menu at my disposal so I can choose whatever game mode or what I want to do while I'm shooting around or after I'm shooting around or when I'm practicing my dribble moves or practicing my jump shot. I'd rather just be in the hangar, you know, working on my game and stuff and having the menu at my disposal so I can choose what game mode, what character I want to use and all that from the hangar. I just have it at my disposal. Speaking of characters and character customization and stuff, I believe it's also time to bring back positions. I understand basketball is a positionless game, but at the end of the day, there are still positions. People know their role and what position they play. So I don't know why we took that out, but we should bring back positions. We also need realistic weight and body types because I honestly can't name a single player in the league that weighs 130 pounds, let alone 160 pounds. That is 6'5", six, 6'8", six, or 7 foot. Now, in the WNBA, I could understand that, you know, because I don't know too many girls running around the WNBA that looks like Joanna, man, or Grandmama. So, I understand that. But at the end of the day, there should be a difference from a guy's body type and a guy's weight from a girl's body type and a girl's weight. Players like Candace Parker, Simone Augustus, Kelsey Plum, and even the all-time great legendary Shell Swoops, they should differ from players like CP3, Badly Bill, DeMar DeRozan, and even a short, stocky Spud Webb. Their build shouldn't look the same. Their weights and makeup should differ. We should have body types from lean, brolic, normal, stocky, skinny, or even vascular, or even thick for the ladies. Me, personally, I think it's easy to differ from the vascular makeup and the body types of these players. It's not as if I'm asking to showcase if they're pigeon-toed, knock-kneed, or bow-legged. Although, all, anyways, that's another story for another day, but I feel it's e it should be easier to differ their body types. We had body types before in NBA Live 16. I just feel we can bring those back and revamp them. Since I'm speaking about character customization, we should be able to choose our hair color, our eye color, our facial hair color, our eyebrows, and even have a facial construction tool so we can actually mold and shape our face rather than shaping it in the face of a honey bun. I'm tired of looking like the blue-eyed white dragon. It's not working. I have brown eyes. Let me let me choose brown eyes. Or if someone has amber eyes, let them choose the ability to have amber eyes. We need more in-date hairstyles. So hairstyles with lineups and tapes. With a lineup and a tape. Not a hairstyle where my lineup does some weird inside out widow's peak just because i have a face scan on we need hairstyles where we have a certain type of lining we could choose from a burst fade a taper fade a mohawk there's different afro styles so afro curls things of that nature Kyrie and pg they have some of the best fro beard lineup combo styles when it comes to their hair their lineups also sit on their eyebrows. We should be able to showcase that through some face sculpting or head sculpting. 
when it comes to facial hair, we need actual facial hair. Like a thick beard, not just a James Harden thick beard. Or a thick goatee with a thin mustache. Not that giant full Manchu from Red Dead Redemption or Pirates of the Caribbean. We need updated, cultured, you know, around this time facial hair. Like, we have the Carl Winslow mustache. We have Carl Winslow's mustache, bro. Also, please, fix face scans. Because I don't know what the hell happened. I mean, I know I'm ugly. But damn! Y'all just violating now. Now, let's talk about clothing and accessories. When it comes to clothing and accessories, I should have full reign to choose whatever color accessory I want. Meaning, I should be able to choose my headband color, my wristband color, my knee pad color, my compression shirt, my compression pants color. I should also have the ability to layer accessories. Meaning, I should be able to wear compression pants with knee pads, compression pants with knee sleeves, or even a wristband with a sleeve. I also should have the ability to wear a compression shirt or not because the compression shirts look like they're just attached to the skin and the player rather than a compression shirt i also feel we should have the ability to wear socks that aren't just elite socks because i thought there would be more socks like the stance socks or even the jordan socks but for the most part all socks are elite socks we should also have the ability to wear ankle socks double socks high scrunch socks low scrunch socks mid scrunch socks because not everybody wears their socks low, calf, and then all the way up. Like, that, that, that's crazy. Now, let's talk about these shoes. If people think it's a lot of shoes in the game, because it says there's 736 items or whatnot, but if you really do a count and you actually measure up the shoes, it's about 173 shoes in the game. 170-something shoes in the game, if I'm not wrong. The rest of those shoes are duplicates. What I mean by duplicates, that means they're just colorways of said shoe. So that's about 560 something shoes that are just duplicates or colorways of said shoe. And we're not even talking about shoes from this season or last season. A lot of the shoes are outdated. They are outdated. We need more in date shoes as well as more in date colorways as well as more foreign brands. Clay wears Anta. He doesn't wear EA Generic. Wade wears Li Ning, not EA Generic. CJ McCollum, he wears Li Ning, not EA Generic. Even Spencer Dunwoody, he has his own shoes that he wore a different colorway for every game he played this season. Like, we have to do a better job of incorporating the foreign brands and other shoe brands. Because for the last three years or some odd years, the cover athlete has been an Adidas athlete. There's about six or five different Adidas shoes, let alone updated shoes for said cover athlete or for those athletes. It's like, what? We have Dwight Howard shoes in the game. He's not even with Adidas anymore. He's not with Adidas anymore. He hasn't been with Adidas, I think, for like the last three years. Now, I may be exaggerating when it comes to the amount of Adidas shoes, but when it comes to the actual shoes in the game, there's not a lot. There's not a lot of end date shoes. A lot of the shoes are outdated. It shows 736 items. 736, 560 of those are duplicates or just colorways. Bro. Just bring in a custom colorway tool where players can choose the colorways of said shoe and they can choose the type of cut that they want from low cut to mid cut to high cut just to avoid all the confusion. Now, when it comes to shorts, jerseys, and t-shirts, I say since we're so big on the WNBA, why not incorporate WNBA shorts or WNBA jerseys? Meaning we could wear our favorite WNBA player shirt, 
jersey or even short sleeve shirt. My favorite player of all time in the WNBA is between Maya Moore and Cheryl Swoops. I say why not bring in WNBA classics? So WNBA classic throwback shirts or WNBA classic throwback jerseys since we're so big on the WNBA. And also, why not incorporate the ability to wear your shorts rolled, short, mid, or long? We all know when it comes to hoop, players have their own type of swag, their own type of swagger to them. Some players in the league like Jalen Brown, they wear their shorts short. Or OG Ananobi, he wears his shorts short. Even Braun, he wears his short kind of short. Players like Eric Bledsoe, they wear their shorts baggy or their jersey baggy. You get what I'm saying? KD wears his shorts regular. Giannis wears his shorts regular. We should be able to incorporate that. In the WNBA, everyone knows Lexi Brown, probably the finest girl in the WNBA, she wears her shorts short. Like, come on. We should be able to choose the size of our shorts and not just rely on getting old school shorts in order to have short shorts. Like, Come on, bro. Hoopers don't just wear classic shorts and be like, all right, I'm wearing short shorts. Like, wait, what? Now let's discuss tops. We should have the ability to play shirtless if we want. I already know what folks may be thinking. What about the WNBA? What if people... All right. It was done before in NBA Street Home Court. What they did was they put girls in sports bras and compression shirts. Pretty simple, pretty simple. I will also like the ability to tuck in my jersey or tuck in my shirt if I want to because we all know anyone who hoops, even players in the league, they tuck their shirts in. We've seen Jire Smith and Skylar Diggins do it in the Puma Live event, so I feel it would be nice if we had that ability. I also wish that the jerseys were a bit longer like in real life because it would make for actual unique situations and also great live events. Meaning we could have an untucked Kyrie love event, an untucked Jared love event, or even as we've seen from this season with Giannis, an untucked Giannis love event. Speaking of live events as well, I don't even want to sound like that guy, but the most creative events were in Live 18. That was the most creative, the most fun event. Yes, you had more celebrities on NBA Live 19 and more influencers and so on and so forth, but the creativity in NBA Live 18, it was there. <laughs> It was there. Live 19 lacked creativity, and I don't want to go back to that. Now, when it comes to franchise mode, yeah, I'm gonna just say that for the people that play franchise mode. Now, when it comes to the one, you want the full experience as a hooper. I don't care too much for, you know, such a unique storyline or whatnot, but the experience as a hooper, it should be there. Meaning, I should be able to play G League, I should be able to play Summer League. I should be able to do some drills. If we already have a learn live, why not just incorporate that and turn them into drills? It's really that simple. The one mode could have also been done with the WNBA last season, if we're being honest. If we're being honest, it could have been done in NBA Live 19. What could have been done is you follow the same storyline as the guy in the NBA. Only thing is you're playing against WNBA players and WNBA prospects. Now, we know the WNBA season is about 34 or 30 something games, right? Take this for instance, right? Your player, she goes and plays overseas like actual WNBA players. She does phenomenal. She's hooping, hooping. Next thing you know, a WNBA team is looking into signing her. Now she's playing in the league for all the marbles. Simple. Lastly, we need to bring back All-Star Weekend, please, please. We already have the influencers, we already have the football players, we already have the celebrities, we have the WNBA. We can simply start a celebrity All-Star game. Easy. You already have international players. You have USA players. Now you got the rookie versus sophomore USA versus world game. We already get dunks from professional dunkers. We have Jonathan Clark doing dunks. We have Maxwell Pierce doing dunks. 
We got Jordan Sutherland doing dunks. Just like that, now we have the dunk contest, all new and revamped. We already got shooters. <laughs> we got shooter shooters. Three-point contest. Boom, right there. We got learn live. Skills challenge right there. Then we got the all-star game. Like, come on, bro. Just bring back all-star weekend. That, that's it. Just bring back all-star weekend. <laughs>